You're here in South Carolina for a summit to deal with poverty and opportunity. There was a time in 1967, George Romney spent three weeks going through what they then called the ghettos. Yeah. I traveled with Jack Kemp in 1996 when he went to all these hard hit neighborhoods. Why doesn't that happen in campaigns anymore? Well, I've been doing it for the last three years. Presidential uh, campaigns. Yeah, so I mean. presidential campaigns, it's a really good question. I think we need to do that. I think it's a mistake that's been made. I, I think that's exactly right. We have got to go and compete for the minds and the hearts and the votes of everybody in this country, no matter who they are. And, and what I think we've had is one party takes a group of people for granted and another party has not paid attention to them. That's exactly why we're having this summit here, hosted by the Jack Kemp Foundation, who was the guy who taught me this, uh, about upward mobility, about fighting poverty and restoring opportunity. And so, yes, I think our presidentials need to do this. It's one thing I regret having not done like I wanted to uh, in 2012. With the pressures that kept you from doing it in 2012, don't they still exist? Yeah, they do. And so you have to just resist that pressure. I think what typically what these consultants tell you is, well, this is where our voters are, and these are the precincts and the counties that we have to maximize turnout, so go there, and then you go there, and then you go there, and you go there. Uh, this is the national election. The stakes of this election are, are the highest in our, in our lifetimes, in our generation, and everybody needs to be involved in this election. So we need to go and compete for the hearts and the minds and the votes of everybody. No matter if we get 2% of the vote, we should be there showing that our ideas are better.